Oh, did you hear that, friends? I think someone needs help. Let's follow the sound and find out. Oh no, little kitty. Say thanks to my sharp ears that were able to detect your squeaky voice despite loud music playing in the background. Speaking of ears, have you ever wondered how you could hear what I say and all the noise around you? Don't worry if you have not because I'm here to explain. So, zoom in! The ability to accurately identify sound is possible due to the auditory system that is comprised of your ears and the brain. The ear's job is to convert the sound energy into a neutral signal which later is received by your brain through three parts of the ear. The outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear. But the big question is, how does it work? Well, it all starts with the sound waves falling on the outer part of your ear known as the pinna that acts as a funnel and sends the sound into the ear canal, another part of your outer ear and heads towards the middle part of your ear hitting the eardrum, a very delicate piece of tightly stretched skin making it vibrate like the head of an actual drum. This vibrating eardrum shakes a tiny chain of three bones called the ossicle that starts with the hammer and passes through the anvil and moves the third bone known as tapes or stirrup. But it's not over yet. Once the sound passes the middle ear through the ossicle, it travels into the cochlea, a small circular tube filled with liquid situated in the inner ear. The vibration caused by the ossicles create waves in the cochlear fluid converting the sound vibration into liquid vibration. The cochlea consists of many hair and when the fluid in the cochlea moves, it moves these tiny hair creating nerve signals that get sent through the auditory nerve into the brain. The brain processes these signals as sound and so you hear. It's trivia time! Did you know that cochlea means snail in Latin? The cochlea gets its name from its unique coiled up shape that looks like a snail shell. I bet that was the first thing that came to your mind when you saw it. Also, not all living creatures hear with ears. Snakes use jaw bones, fish respond to pressure changes and male mosquitoes use antenna. It's question time! Today's question is, how many parts of the ear are there? Do write in your answer in the comment section below and hit the like button to be a part of the Peekaboo family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode and until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Come little kitty, let's go for a walk. Kitty, 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 kitty. Ah, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!